Since Ethiopia's civil war started in 2020, neighbouring Sudan has received 70,000 Ethiopian refugees. Now, many find themselves caught up in the maelstrom of Sudan's civil war, which started on April 15th. An Ethiopian refugee in a camp near the Sudanese city of Gadarif, who asked to remain anonymous out of fear for his family's safety, told VOA by phone, uh, It seems like there is no medicine and there is a shortage of water and uh, the food. Uh, also, there is a high market price and there is no way also where the refugees can get money. Uh, even from family abroad uh, since the banks are not working. He says this situation has persisted since Sudan's war started. Although Ethiopia's war has broadly come to an end thanks to a peace process started in November, Ethiopia's Tigray region is still far too dangerous for most refugees to return. On June 1st, Human Rights Watch said a campaign of ethnic cleansing against Tigrayans is ongoing despite the peace agreement. Before Sudan's conflict started, VOA spoke to Tigrayan refugees in Khartoum. They said they feared for the lives of their family members still inside Tigray. Asked if she had managed to escape to Sudan with all her children, Shamsia Ibrahim, an Ethiopian refugee, said this. Two are still there. The other four are here with me. People told me that my son is still living there right now. We can't reach them by phone and I don't know if they're okay or not. A report by the British newspaper The Guardian on May 15th said Ethiopian refugees in Sudan are falling into the hands of human traffickers who promise passage to Europe. Some are even being kidnapped by them. Also speaking before Sudan's civil war broke out, another Tigray refugee whose name we have changed to protect his safety. He is from the Ethiopian town of Humera. VOA visited Humera last year and heard testimonies of vicious bouts of ethnic cleansing. He says he tried paying traffickers to take him to Europe through Libya, rather than stay in Sudan. We spent about two weeks in a huge building like a warehouse. They used to give us water and two pieces of bread a day. There were no houses there. That's why we didn't leave the building. Having no money left, he was able to return to Khartoum. Aid groups say Ethiopian refugees in Sudan are caught between a rock and a hard place. For the people from Ethiopia, um, it's clear there was some progress in a, in a peace accord, but um, there wasn't a process for, for returning people, or necessarily, that wasn't necessarily their immediate intention. Most of them did want to go back at some point, as our understanding, but not um, uh, the conditions weren't right, in, particularly in the places where they'd come, to, uh, come from in, in western Tigray. As fighting in Khartoum continues, some flow of aid into sites in Sudan occupied by Ethiopian refugees has resumed, after initially being halted entirely by the conflict. Henry Wilkins for VOA News, Jamena Chad.